Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the D-Arts Mega Man X or Rockman X comic version, which I believe was an exclusive from the Tamashii Nations show in 2011, based on the thing on the packaging right there. I know it's some kind of exclusive, but I've long since forgotten. Either way, this guy's hard to come by, and he's the last one I needed, so I finally was able to track one down for a decent price, and I got it into my collection. Uh, now, the problem with that is that I had to buy a used one, so it has a couple of dings and scratches here and there, but I had to pick it up, and I figured I would show you guys so that you're aware, because I know a lot of you are really big fans of the DR's Mega Man X line. Uh, so this guy is basically the same as the regular release with a couple of exclusive parts and a couple of paint changes uh, and, and a little bit of few differences here and there, but mostly it's the same. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. All right, so it's worth noting that he is mostly the same. Like I said in, in the first part of the video, the main light blue and then the main metallic blue for the for the darker colors it's basically the exact same so that's the same the only major difference in terms of paint job is this part right here and the silver up here those are not there on the original figure which i can show you right here if i can get them out of the package slightly different in that it's really dark on the exclusive one and really light for the chest on the original one and then for the head it's basically completely different because of the light blue and then the silver. So th that's it really for the paint job. Otherwise the exclusive comes in, exclusivity comes in right here at the buster. It's all battle damaged. So that does not come with the regular release. It's just a plain old smooth normal looking gun arm. Now the cool thing about this guy is you do get a replacement one. So you can put a regular non battle damage one on there if you want and it still has the interchangeable end pieces so you can have the little gem in there or you can put this in there so you can use all the blast effects which are the same as the original release also. No changes there. I just lost the gun arm, it just rolled off the table. Uh, now, the main, the most important part, most exclusive part about this guy, oh, I also didn't mention the hands. The hands are also a different color. They're light blue on the exclusive and white on the regular release. Same molds and everything, just different color. Now, the most important part is the face. This is called the comic version because of the face. We have the really anime style paint job for the eyes. Slightly different skin tone, it's a little bit lighter. It does have a bit of a, a shinier finish to it, which I'm not sure if that was intentional, but that's the way it goes. Uh, but the faces are completely different. So we have this one, just your standard stern face. And then we have this one, which has, I guess, tears coming down. I suppose those are tears, but still really nicely done. It looks really cool. And then my favorite of the bunch is the really battle damaged face, which has the blood coming down. Very anime manga-esque. Now this blue marking right here is um, not anything to worry about. Mine came that way because like I said it was used but once I put the helmet on it hides it perfectly so no big deal. But that's the main difference is the faces. Obviously we do have those color changes. You can see they're, they're basically the same so it's really just a matter of if you want to have the special version with the new faces then you want to track this one down. Otherwise you'll be just fine with the original release. The gems are all the same color. There's really there's really no main differences, you know, in, in the rest of the body. So uh, there you go. If you need to see a complete rundown on the figure, I've reviewed this guy at least once, probably twice, and it's all the same. So you can just check out that video. Uh, but this way you guys are a little bit more aware of the exclusive version, just in case you are curious about that. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.